Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I'm glad to see that you're here again. Claudia, Priscilla, Jose. Okay. I'm going to. Okay, your microphones are on. So, Vanessa, how are you today? Priscilla, how are you? Are you girls doing okay? I'm okay, teacher. Oh, I'm here. Fine. I'm fine, professor. Wow. Okay. I'm glad to hear that you're fine. Glad to hear that you are great. Okay. Nowadays, it's fantastic. Okay. Well, I have something to tell you that are only girls. Wow. Very good. It's a girls class again. Maria is here. Okay. Uh, the CEO of Descubre Mundo, his name is Bruno, had kindly asked me to provide you some English classes for two weeks. two weeks. And that's what I have been doing for two weeks. So theoretically speaking, this is my last class. I really don't know if the classes are being good or not good if you are enjoying or not enjoying the classes, because we need your opinion. Bruno asked me to send you again a survey to discover your opinion. The link is here. Okay, Vanessa. So what I need you to do is, if you want to continue with the classes, for me, it's not a problem. I am mm -hmm. under a quarantine. I cannot go out, okay? So it's a pleasure for me, especially when there are only girls in my class, okay? So thank you, thank you. I'm glad you are enjoying, but you have to let our CEO, okay? Uh, Oscar, I was so happy that there were only girls. Welcome back. How are you today, Oscar? And finally, you, Roberto. Ah, all right, all right. Good okay. to see you here. So now okay. it's not only a girl's class. Oscar is here, our engineer, okay? Yeah. So, Oscar, I'm telling everyone here that Bruno, who is the CEO of this Curvo Mundo, asked me to give you two weeks of classes. Okay. And this is, theoretically, my last class. Okay. So, oh. I don't know. I don't know if the classes are good or not good, if you're okay. learning or if you are not learning. Okay. But what you have to do is complete the survey. I'm going to type the survey again here for you if you don't have it. Okay. Complete the survey. Let Bruno know that he classes are being good for you okay suggestions and i can talk to bruno on the weekend and decide okay if on monday we can continue the classes or not okay as i said for me it's not a problem i can okay not go uh, out okay uh, i am robert, robert I, I i would like that uh, course continues okay will be so, will be continuous Okay, just let Bruno know, okay? Okay, okay. Send a, send a message to yes, Bruno. Yes, yes, yes. I, I am considered... I will, I, will, I, will send, I will send Bruno. Okay. I, will be, I, I, will, I will send Bruno. Yes, thank you. I cannot go out. I am considered a high risk. I have okay. diabetes. I am... I have problems with my blood pressure. I am six, yeah. almost 60 years old, so I have to stay home. So for me, it's a pleasure to give you the classes, but it depends on you. Yeah. Maybe you don't want the classes. So talk to Bruno, okay. okay? I have prepared anyway, a very nice class. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, uh, and I hope that it's not our last class, but it depends on you. It doesn't depend okay. on me, okay? Okay, okay, so, okay. I know. Contact Bruno. Yes. Yeah. What contact Bruno? Uh, Maria, you can send Bruno an email. Okay. Like his email is Bruno. I don't think he's going to see the email. I think it's better 
if you complete the survey, there is a, a link here, uh, slash doc, docs.google.com.form. Just complete this. It's very fast. It doesn't take more than 30 seconds. And let Bruno know that you like to continue the classes. And then I can prepare something different for next Monday, all right? Okay. So as, as we usually do, because of all the external sound, I'm going to mute your microphones and I'm yeah. going to share my screen with you and we are going to start our class. Okay. I tried to make a funny class because I thought maybe it would be our last class. So I tried to make a funny one, okay? So let me share the screen with you and we can start the class. Okay. This is what we are going to talk about. And there is also a topic from today's newspaper for you to read in English and improve your vocabulary. Okay, oh, this first story, the first, I'm going to read it for you. The other stories, I'm not going to read for you or my voice will go away, okay? Because they are long stories. What is the idea? I want you to pay attention to the story and try to understand what is the last line, okay? Oh, this first one is called the chauffeur. Chauffeur or driver is the same. In England, they usually say chauffeur. But Mrs. Johnson was a very rich woman. Her husband was a multimillionaire. I've also heard people say multi, both multi or multi or multinationals, multinationals are correct. She was quite young, but he was quite old. She was only 28 and he was 68, older than me. They lived in a very large house in England. Mrs. Johnson never cooked or cleaned the house. She never worked. And she never drove a car. When she wanted to go anywhere, she would call Charles. Charles was her chauffeur. Mr. Johnson traveled a lot. He flew to many countries around the world to do business. Mrs. Johnson, she didn't like to fly, so she often stayed at home. Once Mr. Johnson went to America for a week and Mrs. Johnson decided to go shopping. So she walked to the garage to find Charles and she found him in his room just above the garage. When she saw him, she looked at him and said, Charles, take off my, my hat. Take off means to remove my hat. Charles said, certainly, madam. Okay. Then he took off her hat. Let me slide down. Charles, take off my coat. Certainly, madam, Charles replied. And then he took off her coat. And then she said, Charles, take off my shoes. Certainly, madam, Charles replied again. Then he took off her shoes. Charles, Take off my dress. Oops. Certainly, madam, Charles replied. Then he took off her dress. And then Mrs. Johnson looked into the eyes of her chauffeur and said, What do you think she said to her chauffeur? Aha, that's the question of the day. That's a million dollar question. What do you think she said to her shopper? 
Let's see if anyone here can guess. Remember, she was very young. Her husband was very old. He was away. He was in America for a week, okay? And she wanted to go shopping, so she needed Charles to drive her. And she found him in his room, and she told him everything you saw here. My question is, what do you think she told Charles? Come on, don't be shy. Write in the chat, what do you think she told Charles, make me a massage. Give me a massage. Okay. Vanessa said, I have no idea. Oh, Vanessa, use your imagination. Come on. Gloria says she asked for a massage. Okay. What else? Come on, there are many people here. I want more answers. Hello. No idea. Wake up, Charles. I would like to go shopping. <laughs> Wake up. He was not sleeping. He was taking off the things that she asked him. Come on, more answers. It's a million dollar answer. Come on. What else? Use your imagination. Remember, she asked Charles to take off her hat, her coat, her shoes, her dress. And then she, looking into his eyes, she said something. You don't have to send any message privately to me. There is nothing offensive here. What do you think she said to Charles? Come on. I want one more, at least one more. Good night, Charles. Charles, take off the package into the car. No, my clothes. She decided to travel with him. <laughs> Somebody said, please scratch my back. Okay. So far, nobody has discovered what she said to him, but you have a good imagination. Let's use your imagination a little bit more. Come on. What do you think she said to Charles? Scratch my back is good. What else? Nobody knows. No, can I give you the answer? Yes, I will write it here for you. She told him, next time, next time I catch you wearing my clothes, you are fired. This is what she told him. Next time I catch you wearing my clothes, you are fired. Understand this? Okay. Did you like it? Yes. Okay. Yes. So. Charles was actually wearing her hat, her coat, her shoes, her dress, okay? The husband was old, but maybe he was not stupid, okay? That's why he hired Charles to be her chauffeur, okay? All right, right. understand? Good, I'm glad you understood. Let's go to the second story, the crying child. Okay, let's see what we have here. The crying child. One Sunday, 
a young father was walking through the park. He was pushing a pram. Do you know what's a pram? No, no. It's a baby's cart. You know, a, a cart. Like when you go to the supermarket, you get a shopping cart. When you have a baby, you get a baby cart or a pram. That's the word they use it in England. In the United States, I've seen people saying strolly, okay? A strolly or a pram are synonyms, okay? No problem. Welcome back, Claudia. So he was pushing a pram and there was a young baby in the pram and the baby, oh, observe, and it was crying loudly. Remember that I told you that it's possible to use it to refer to a person? Because when we say baby, we don't know if it's a baby boy or a baby girl, so we say it. And it was crying loudly. And the young father said softly, take it easy, Martin. Keep calm, Martin. Control yourself, Martin. The young father walked on, but the young child cried louder. The babe stopped, took a teddy bear out of a bag. He gave it to the child and he said softly again, Take it easy, Martin. Keep calm, Martin. Control yourself, Martin. Then the young father started to push the pram again. After a few minutes, the child began to cry. Cried louder and louder. The father put his hand into his pocket and took out some chocolate. He gave a piece of the chocolate to the child and said again softly, take it easy, Martin. Keep calm, Martin. Control yourself, Martin. And then he, he continued walking on. Three, only three minutes later, the baby started to cry and he cried louder and louder and louder. The father took the baby out of the pram and held it in his arms. And again, he said softly, take it easy, Martin. Keep calm, Martin. Control yourself, Martin. But mm -mm, the child did not stop crying. He cried louder and louder. On the other side of the park, there was an old lady that had been observing everything. And then the old woman watching the father, she walked across. Somebody asked me what was the difference between cross and across. You see, oh, she walked across the park. Across is a preposition that means to go from one side to the other. And cross is the verb. I could say here, she crossed the park or she walked across the park to the young father. Father is not written correctly here, I'm sorry. Okay, it's misspelled. She walked to the young father and she smiled and she said, you are doing very well, young man. You talk to the child with a calm and quiet voice. The old woman looked at the child and said, what's wrong, Martin? Why are you crying? The father said quickly, again, what do you think the father said to the old lady? That's the same thing of the previous exercise. What do you think the father said to the lady? Okay, okay, well, this one was easier. Okay, does anyone have a different opinion? 
No? Yes, exactly. He said, I am Martin. The baby's name is John or Peter or Ted. So all the time when he was saying, keep calm. Martin is my name, not the baby's name. Yes, yes, exactly. That's what he told the woman. All the time, he was not talking to the baby. He was talking to himself. He was telling himself to control himself, to keep calm. Okay? Understand? Okay? No problem. This one was easier, I suppose. Let's see if the next one is as easy as this one. It's called the dog. I'm sorry. I'm not going to read it because I don't have any voice. My voice is already fading. But oh, when you finish reading the first part here, you tell me and I will just go down a little bit more. Linda Robson was very thirsty, so she went to a cafe. Remember, a cafe is a restaurant, it's not a coffee, okay? So, what do you think it happened here? Continue. Linda Robson, she was... I typed this very fast. I made some mistakes here that I'm correcting now. She asked for a glass of lemonade. When I can go down, let me know, okay? When you finish reading this part, you let me know. If you have any question, please let me know. Go, go, okay. So let's see the next part, the final part. Okay. Let me see if I can find a way to show you the entire thing. Is it better like this? Okay, there's a question here. Tame, tame Vanessa is a verb which means to domesticate an animal. Okay, when you train, when you domesticate, sometimes you have wild horses that need to be tamed so you can ride on them. Uh, like the elephants that you have at circles, or I think there are no more animals at circles. They are all tamed, okay? Tame. Tame means to domesticate, to make it sociable, okay? So, <clears throat> have you finished or no? Finished reading or no? Yes? One second. No problem, Carol. Take your time. When you finish, let me know. Mila has finished. Everyone has finished? Scream it. That's when you go like, ah! It's the same of shout. Scream or 
shout. They are synonyms. Okay? Oh. Scream or shout. They are synonyms. When the dog bit her hand, she screamed. Ouch! Okay? Now, any idea what is the last line of this lesson? Any idea? It only uh, bites, not beats, okay, uh, Gloria? Bite. Beat is the past tense. Okay? It only bites when it shuts, okay? It only bites. I'm going to write a, a message to Gloria here. It only bites when it shuts its mouth. Observe that you don't have the apostrophe and S, it's its, its mouth, okay? It only bites when it shuts its mouth. Okay, Gloria? Come on, any idea what happened? Any idea about what the old woman said to Linda? Any possible answer? Come on, girls. Come on, Ronald. Oscar, time is money. What is the answer? This is easy. He feels when people, uh, uh, you don't say half afraid, you say when people are. Afraid. No. So far, no good. No, no, no questions. No, no. So far, I don't have a good answer. Marie's afraid of big dogs, too. Okay, but this was not a big dog, Maria. It was a little dog. But they bite anyway. Okay. <laughs> Very good, Carol. Carol got the answer. The woman said, but this is not my dog. Okay. But this is not my dog. All right? Because if you pay attention, Linda was saying, does your dog, does your dog, does your dog. The woman was talking about her dog. She had not even seen the dog under the table. That was not her dog, okay? Oh, but this is not my dog, okay? Understand? Excellent. Let's go to a more difficult one. The thirsty tourist. Do you understand the word thirsty? The thirsty tourist. Do you understand that? Or no? Yes, yes, yes. When you are hungry, you eat. When you are thirsty, you drink water. Usually water, okay? There are people that drink other things. But 
the thirsty tourist. When you finish reading this first, let me see if I can. Okay, zoom this a little bit. Okay, 75%. Okay, let me see if I can show you the entire page. Okay, I think now it's better. Can you read it? Now you can probably read everything. Is it okay? Yes. Yes, perfect. So, all right. Mila, uh, would you like to read this for us aloud? Because my voice is not good, but I can give you a chance to read it aloud. Would you like to read it for us? Please, read it for us. Yes. So uh, I can help you with your translation. The thirsty tourist. Okay. A tourist was traveling alone in the desert. After two weeks, his desert. car... Desert. 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 Okay. Yes. After two weeks, his car stopped working. He got out and started walking. He was lost and he had no water. It was very hot and he became very thirsty. After five hours, he saw a small tent in front of him. There was a woman in the tent. The tourist said to the woman, water, please sell me some water. The tourist, the, excuse me, excuse me. The tourist said to the woman, it's in the past. Okay. The, the tourist said to the woman, okay? Okay, water, please. Sell me some water. There I'm was the sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I haven't got, got any water. Mm -hmm. I'm taking mm -hmm. time to the market. I need some water. Please the woman sell me some water. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I only have ties. The old bearded man. Okay, just a moment, just a moment. We are getting a lot of external sound. Just Mila. Okay. An hour later, he saw a large hotel. It was an expensive looking tourist crawled to the floor. No. And took out all his money. He said to the doorman. Okay. For a dirty tourist and success. Ah, uh, I don't know what's happening here. Hmm? I'm trying to mute, but no, I'm still listening to a lot of external. Yes voices i think that are two open microphones me too okay can you continue is there anyone else that would like to continue oscar would you like to read a little bit here hello would you like to continue reading a little bit? Okay. Um, she stopped the, here. I'm yeah, sorry. The, the tourist walked on. Become, he became more thirsty. Mm -hmm. Two kilometers he became, later. He became, he became. He became. He became more thirsty. Two kilometers later, mm -hmm. he came to another small tent. There was an old man in the tent. Mm -hmm. 
Wait there. Well, water, please. Sell me some water. I'm sorry. I haven't got any water. I'm taking ties to make to market to sell the man replied. The tourist put Very his good, money. Oscar. Yeah. Oscar. Yes. Very good. Very good. Let's give Erica. Would you like to continue, Erica? Erica, are you Oi? listening to me? Yes. The tourist put his money back into his pocket and walked in. Yeah. He walked yeah. on, but it's okay. Yeah. Yes. No, no. You said he walked on. It was my mistake. Continue. He was very... He was very, very thirsty and also very tired. One kilometer later, he arrived at a third tent. There was a man with a bird in the tent. The man said, Do you want to buy a tie? I have many beautiful ties. No, 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 shouted the tourist. I need some water. Please send, sell me water. Okay, I'm sorry. stop there, please. Stop there, please. Uh, just one observation. There was a man with a beard in the tent, a beard, okay? Beard. The, the pronunciation is beard, all right? All right. Priscilla, would you like to finish reading? No. No, oh, I start. Vanessa. Do you want to buy a tie? I have a, I have a many beautiful ties. No, no, no. Oh. I'm sorry, I don't have little ties, said the wood the beard man. Bearded. Bearded man. Yes. The tourist, the tourist fell to the ground and fell. started to fell. fell. Sorry, fell. He fell fell the, to the ground and he started to crawl. Uh, an hour later, she saw a large hotel. It was an expensive looking hotel. The tourist crawled. Crawled. The, crawl, crawled, crawled to yeah. the door crawled. into crowd. Sorry, crowd, crowd, crowd. Yes, to the door oh, and took out all his money. He said to the doorman, Water, finish, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Water, I will pay a hundred dollars for a glass of water. The doorman looked at, at the dirty tourist and said, Okay, uh, thank you very much for participating. Okay, uh, I'm going to make some observations. Okay, I just need to mute all the microphones again, or I cannot talk. Okay, uh, some microphones, okay. Let me see, some microphones are still with external sound. Okay, you. Okay, mute, mute. Okay, good. Okay, is there any other? Okay, this one. Okay, now it's quiet. Okay, now I can answer questions. Gloria asked me, Gloria, no, it was Vanessa, I'm sorry. Uh, what is the meaning of the verb Crawl. You know that babies, before they walk, they start crawling. Understand? So crawling is when you are moving like that and you can't walk anymore. Also, when you are very tired, you start crawling because you can't walk normally. Okay, Vanessa? Understood that? 
It's a regular verb. The past tense is crawled. Okay, uh, Gloria gave me an answer. It's not exactly the answer, but it's a good answer, Gloria. What do you think the doorman said to the tourist? Uh, sorry, I have only ties. No. No, so far I don't have the writer yet what do you think the doorman said to the remember it was an expensive looking hotel any idea or no Water here is free. Carol was almost right, Carol. Yes, the guy said exactly this. I'm sorry, sir, but only guests wearing a tie can come in. So, you see, this is why everybody was selling ties around the hotel because you could only go inside of the hotel wearing a tie you can say this is stupid no this is not stupid this is true some hotels are like this and i have been in a situation i was not thirsty but i was in london with my wife and my wife wanted to go to the ritz to have the five o'clock tea at the Ritz Hotel. In my opinion, I was very well dressed. I was wearing social shoes, social pants, a social shirt, a jacket, and an overcoat. And my wife was also very well dressed. So we got to the Ritz Hotel in London, and the guy asked me, I'm sorry, sir. Do you have a reservation? I said, no. Was it necessary? Uh, not really necessary to have a reservation, sir, but I'm sorry I cannot let you in. I said, if it's not necessary, why it's not possible for me to go in? You are not doing high. I started laughing at the guy's face. I said, you're kidding me, right? No, sir. Only people wearing a tie can come in. That was the required attire. Attire means clothes. No ties, you don't go in. I think you have seen this in movies. Sometime a, ghost go, a guy goes to a place and he asks for a tie to the people that drive the cars or to the doorman, because if you don't have a tie, you cannot go inside. And then it was funny because I asked the man, oh, okay, I'll go back to my hotel and I'll get a tie. But just wondering, how much is it for the tea? The guy said 65 pounds per person. 65 pounds per person. One pound is almost seven reais. Can you believe it costs 65 pounds per person? I looked at my wife and I told her in Portuguese, let's get the hell out of here. I'm not paying 65 pounds, okay? Yes, I was very lucky not to have a tie. You're right, Carol, very lucky. So what happened? It was so funny. We left the Ritz Hotel, and just beside the hotel, there was a hot dog stand. And we had, I think, the best hot dog I've 
ever had in my life. And do you have any idea how much I paid for a wonderful hot dog next to the Ritz Hotel in London? Just one pound. One pound. Okay? Not five, not three. Just one pound. Okay? So, if you go to London, not you, Maria da Gloria. You don't need a tie. You just need to be very well dressed. But if you are a man, like if Oscar wants to have the five o'clock tea at the same place where Queen Elizabeth has, he needs to have a tie. Okay? Let me see. Okay. We don't have much time, but let's see if we can read the next part. The next part is an article that I got from today's newspaper, see? Friday, 3rd, April, 2020. Brussels engineers, okay, Oscar. Brussels engineers racing to make ventilators out of car parts. The problem with this new virus is that the hospitals are not equipped with ventilators in order to ventilate people with difficulty to breathe. So ventilators are gone. You don't find it in the market. So car uh, automobile engineers are working very fast in order to make ventilators using car parts. This is from today's newspaper. I'd like it to read it. Okay, read this. And then there are four questions about this. What means shortage? What can you, how can you explain? I'm sorry here. It's how can you explain these sentence, these sentence using other words in order not to strain. What do you understand by these sentence? which subs in car parts in lieu of medical components. And how can you explain this sentence using your own words? One of the driving principles. So I'd like you to read this at home. And if Bruno decides that we can have more classes next week, I will discuss the answers with you. This is an article that I got from today's paper. Uh, I thank you very much for attending this class, for participating of this class. I hope to see you in the future, but the decision is in your hands. You have to let our C the CEO of Descubro Mundo aware that you would like to have more classes. So I hope you have a nice weekend. Thank you very much for attending this class. Okay, it was a pleasure being here again. I hope you have had a chance to learn something. Okay, and have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you guys. I hope, I hope to see you guys on Monday. But remember, you have to write to Bruno. Bruno is the man, he is the guy. Okay, thank you very much. And thank you, Carol. Thank you. Okay, but uh, we can continue. Just Ask Bruno, all right? Have a nice weekend. See you on Monday, okay? Bye-bye now.